Amy Dot, and I'm back with another video. Today, I will be taking you all along with me to work. Um, I will show y'all all the things that I will be doing at work today. I'm gonna take you all along with me on today. Today should be interesting. It's Friday and I'm getting in the car. Y'all, I hope you are all having a great day. I'm gonna have a great day because I have a half a day today. I'm about to leave. It is currently 7 o'clock on a dot. Yes, I know it's early, but I am an early bird, so it works out. I do drink my coffee. My ice cold coffee it has to be cold. I hate hot coffee. No, I have a real drink. A real drink um hot chocolate, like in the wintertime, like when it's really cold. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm about to leave. Y'all, today, I feel like it's going to be a great day because the Congress are going to address this proposal <clears throat> that the, um, that the Democrats have proposed a couple of proposals so they're going to look at it today and i guess make a decision and see if it's going to actually but hopefully they agree on some more stimulus because i feel like the american people need more stimulus honestly um and now with me i'm a, an essential worker but i was all for home my uh, my doctors they couldn't afford to keep paying their staff um so it came to a point where we were furloughed too. So even though I'm an essential worker, um, the patients just wasn't coming in like that. So he just didn't have enough money to pay us. So, but yeah, they they got this uh, Heroes Act for essential workers too. They got a couple of proposals. Y'all do y'all research because I feel like they're gonna pass something. I just don't know what. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got my seats down and it's just so sliding everywhere. But yeah. Gas trying to sneak on back on up too. I know Gas head got down to like 105 or something. It was like real low during the uh, during the quarantine. Because it wasn't nobody going nowhere. Didn't nobody have nowhere to go. Didn't nobody have no money. Nothing. Um, and now I am a dental assistant. I don't know if y'all knew that. But yeah, today is Friday. So I thought it would be the perfect day to just take you all along with me. Um, I I think we only have like two or three patients as far as surgeries. And then we have like a couple post stops. So it's still kind of like iffy from the coronavirus. And people are still like getting used to getting back out. So patients are really just coming in if it's like an emergency or something that they just really can't deal with right now. So um, yeah, so we're really not seeing any consultations. Like you gotta come in and know like you finna get this procedure done. Like that type of, you know, vibe or whatever. But yeah. because you should have left the house in time enough to be on time if you're you know running late or whatever but i be pushing on brakes i wish i wish somebody would run into the back of me and i'm falling out the car falling out the car and i'm rolling on the ground and 
I'm unresponsible. I'm mean, unresponsible, unresponsive until the EMT or ambulance, whoever gonna come. I'm unresponsive. I was like, oh my God, we need to perform CPR. No, for real, y'all. I just hate when people ride my tail. Cause it's so, I feel like that's rude. It's just like somebody like right up on you in line, especially during the corona. You too close. I didn't give me my six feet. Back to what I was saying, um, what I do at work, some duties that I do. I do start IVs. Um, I'm kind of like the only assistant with this doctor, so I do everything from taking x-rays, CTs, calling the patient back, um, seating the patient, um, fixing up the trays for the procedures. Ooh, I'm speed, let me slow down. I'm in a suburb area and the police be, they go to police. I just told y'all, I told y'all, I knew the police was up here. Cause I'm in like a good neighborhood. Look, they got the police, y'all see them? Nah, y'all can see them. Back over here. But yeah, so, uh, I think we only got one sedation today. So I'm just gonna have to start one IV. I feel like I'm a counselor too because people be so scared to get that IV. And I'm like, girl, it's just a pinch. And it be like the people like they got like a thousand tattoos that are like huge that play sports like big men be like scared to get a little bitty needle. But I guess I don't know. If it's something that I have to do, I still get up. But yeah, so I hope y'all like this video and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe at the end of this video. It is greatly appreciated. Yeah, I just want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. Like, y'all didn't have to subscribe to my channel, but y'all did. And I really appreciate y'all for doing it. Like, shout out to y'all. For real. Y'all, I'm just glad it's Friday. I haven't had a wax in a whole month and a half. I'm glad my husband is very understanding because some people husband out here like flip like, like baby, you gotta you gotta shave and do something. But I don't wanna shave because then I have to start all back over. Like I finally got my hoo-ha back to like, you know what I'm saying, like pretty, you know. So that's the only reason why I'm not shaving. And my armpits, I, I can't, like, on the weekends, I really can't wear the shirts I want to wear. Like, I want to wear, like, the scrapless shirt because it's starting to get hot outside. But I can't, like, I got to wear, like, crew necks and stuff. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's a struggle. I haven't had my nails done in the same amount of time. I think I got my nails, my wax, and my hair done all right before... Our, our city shut down so it was like it was like um right before some had told me i was like let me go ahead and get, make this nail appointment and stuff and y'all i kid you not that next following week everything started shutting down i said yeah i can be ugly in quarantine if y'all want to i was just making a joke and we had to go quarantine for real it was crazy it's still kind of weird like i feel like it's gonna be weird for a minute because like i remember when i first like started getting back out because i think i stayed in the house like that for that first week because i had started feeling sick but it wasn't the corona y'all it, it was just um i don't know my my um i don't know my sinuses or something was acting up but anywho yeah so <clears throat> i was scared to get out and stuff so i didn't get out till like a week after we got on quarantine to go to the grocery store and y'all, I started seeing people with masks on. I was like, what they wearing masks for? Blah, blah, blah. And then, now they make, they started making everybody wear the mask. So I was like, whoops. Yeah, I don't normally be at work, like, at 17. But I left a little late because I was talking to my husband. We had, like, a little, a good little conversation going. So, and he didn't want to let me go. I'm so happy it's Friday. I don't know. I just, I, I'm almost back used to working. This is my second week working. I'm almost back used to working again. And I just be so appreciative now of my weekends. Because when I was in, oh, y'all can't see me. I'm sorry, that's on. But when I was in quarantine, um, I forgot what day it was, what time it was. I was just. It's like I 
was just existing. <laughs> and now I'm back working. Like I know what time it is. I can go with the time. Especially when it's time to clock out, baby. I'm gonna put on some of this Prada candy, this oil I got. I like smelling good at work. You gotta stay smelling good, sis, at all times. Even at work. yeah y'all so I'll take you all along with me and y'all gonna see what a surgical dental assistant does yeah i work for oral surgeons i don't know if i told y'all that but yeah i work for um oral surgeons i've been in the field about four years now um i do and got my dance certification um that was the hardest test that i have probably had to take in my whole entire life but i don't know if it's compared to the um the nurse test in in flex or if, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. You nurses out there, shout out to y'all too. And it was just nurse week. Was this this week nurse week? Happy nurse week to all the nurses. I hope y'all had a good week. Cause I don't know if I can be a nurse during a time like this, y'all. I know like it's very rewarding. My job is rewarding, but I'm like I'm scared to do my own, you know, surgical assistant. Better yet, a nurse. Yup. So when I get off, yeah, I'm going. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. A lot of people still didn't know that Hobby Lobby was open. So thank God that was not crowded. That it was like a normal, like a normal day of going to Hobby Lobby. I went around three o'clock yesterday. I think a lot of people just don't know that they're open. They're back open. So I got lucky with that one. And then today I'm going to Steinmart after work, and I might go to Tuesday morning just to look around in there. I'm really uh, trying to get my apartment together so I can show you, do an apartment tour for y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I rarely shop in Tuesday morning. I've probably been there once or twice, but I'm gonna go in there and see what they get because I need a, I need a, I can't talk. I need a couple more things for my patio. And I'm going to do a separate video, too. So I'm going to uh, review my patio. Because we went a whole year, y'all, with nothing on that patio. It was just like a lot of spiders and stuff out there. So I never really wanted to go out there. So now uh, we found some stuff. Oh, that's cute. It's say like heroes work here. I can't even let y'all see. Y'all see that? It's say like heroes work here. Oh, so sweet. Sorry, y'all. That was my co-worker. She's at the office. We have to communicate. Um, any changes or anything. So, yeah. I'm just finishing up making this summation tray. And this is the tray. He just has to talk first a little bit, then I have to give them a copay, then we can get started with the sedation. But yeah, y'all, I'll be back a little later.
have one more local and I have two more folks up. So after that, I'll be done for the day. And then I can enjoy my weekend and turn up, turn up, yeah. Off work, you guys. Hey, y'all. Just left work. About to email some papers to my caseworker. Then I'm going to probably go to Steinmark. I don't know you. Um, I'm just looking for house stuff right now. on a four-way side. I'm like, why are you speeding? I don't understand. And now we really want to stop. They be wanting you. Yeah. Like, he wasn't supposed to go with me, guys. This is sign dude. Like, why she couldn't get over in front of me? Because he want to speed. Go on. I don't know what's your rush. Baby. Just to see what the Congress now do today with these proposals for more stimulus. So I get my information from YouTubers. What are they doing? I'm just gonna do a little shopping for the house. Like I'm just really looking for like accessories. Like I need something to go on a console table. I need something to go on the den the dining room table.
get to work and it just started working. Like, I be trying to get things done, like, in a timely manner, like, because normally, like, before our uh, new office, because our other office got renovated, so while that office was getting renovated, we were all in one office, and so we was there every day, so it was easier for me to prepare for the next day. So I would like go ahead and make my trays, go ahead and drop my meds for like if I had some nation time, go ahead and do these things like a day before. And so when I come in, I won't have nothing to do, nothing to do but sit at my trays and you know prepare the room for the procedure. But now I gotta come in, I gotta make my trays, I gotta drop my meds and things like that. So yeah, that's what I did when I got to work. I I forgot all about my own coffee. full-time job is because I'm still considered a full-time I'm still considered full-time because I work over 30 hours but my old job yeah I would work 40 plus hours some weeks I would work 50 hours a week like I would be stupid tired and I wouldn't get paid a lot so it's like once I left that job and went to my new job I'm like getting paid like $5 more than what I was getting paid there. I was, I will say this, I was about to get a raise before I left because I had just passed this big test I had to take and I had more certification behind my belt. I, as soon as I passed and he wanted me to do something else, I guess before I got an evaluation, I don't know, but they did evaluations once a year and once which I feel like wasn't fair. So I got, I passed the test like, I think it's in September. And you know, like he was like, okay, you gotta do this, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, I was thinking, I'm gonna wait hours to January to get raised. And then it was like, I was applying to places, but I went like, I, they had, the people are calling, can you come in for an interview? And I, yeah, I set up a whole interview in one go. Cause I was so scared to leave this, my old job because it was what I was used to. It was an all black office and I was comfortable, you know, like with certain hairstyles and nail color and stuff. And then like the other people that were calling me, the other officers that were calling me were, you know, Caucasian. Not, I don't have anything against Caucasian people, but you know, like I feel like my I'm comfortable around my own kind. Y'all can re can relate to that, I'm sure. Even though I get along with anybody. So, because the office I'm at now is majority Caucasian. It's one black girl there. Other black girl there. And she's an assistant also. So, it really don't bother me. Um, only when it comes to... Because my, y'all, my doctor used to do, like, drugs. And... Was that somebody I knew? He used to do drugs. And, like, you know, like, they say, like, Caucasian people... Um a lot of Caucasian people do drugs like it's normal for them and like a lot of black people don't I won't say a lot of them but you know like you know uh, I know a few people that do do parmethazine the syrup um, I know a couple people that do do the hydrocodone pills and stuff but like hard drugs no not like crack or cocaine or nothing like that not fentanyl not drugs like that speaking of video about that like working for a doctor who did drugs 